what's good and welcome back to the furnished mind let's go and remember christ is king um who remembers the nashville shooting karen the shooter was 28 years old and a former student at covenant school a small presbyterian church elementary school in nashville audrey hale now identified by police as the person who shot through a locked door to get into the school about 10 30 this morning a five officer team went straight to the gunfire on the second floor here at Covenant School and killed the intruder who was armed with an AR style rifle, an assault style pistol and a handgun. At least two of them legally obtained according to authorities. Even though it appears to have been a rapid police response, three adults and three children were killed before officers could end the incident. The children, a pair of nine year olds and one child turning nine and among the adults, a janitor, a substitute teacher and the head of the school, 60 year old Catherine Kuntz. Police say they found a horrific crime scene. A horrific crime scene it was. Um, just knowing that this is something that's, that's within my community um, here in Nashville, that was as heartbreaking as it can get. Um, you, when you send your children off to school, you believe that they're safe. Um, you believe that um, you'll see them again later on in the day and you never would want to suspect that, hey, this could potentially happen right within our own community uh, amongst the ones we love, the one we all want to protect. Um, that's this demonic and um, as wicked as an attack we've ever seen. Um, with that being said, a lot of people um, understand that, unfortunately this, this Audrey girl took her own life, so we never got to hear the rationale behind why she did what she did. Um, at the end of the day, she's receiving, um, there's full justice on the other side. So she, it, it was not a sweet escape for her. Um, but um, a lot of people want to know the motives and understand why people do the things they do, especially um, to this degree um, and as uh, wicked as this was. Uh, but they weren't able to get that. Um, there was a glimmer of hope because there was a manifesto and people were like, well, we want to read it. We want to know. The public wants to know. We, we deserve to, to hear this um, because we want to understand what type of human being she was. To no one's surprise, uh, police withheld that information. They would not release the manifesto. In fact, it, it sounded like an exchange hands and it went from the police um, to the FBI and they held on to it. A lot of them seen it, but they would not tell the general public what was going on. Um, but Today finds out that uh, we're finding out that Steven Crowder was apparently able to get screenshots of the manifesto. And let's kind of take a dive into what um, is going on here. Nash Nashville Shooters Manifesto released by Steven Crowder. What we know. Conservative social media personality Steven Crowder teased the release of a manifesto alleg allegedly written by an accused school shooter in Nashville where six victims died earlier this year. Uh, in the video posted Monday to YouTube, Crowder said the manifesto was leaked and shared uh, screenshots of portions of the document, which was believed to be the work of Audrey Hill, age 28, um, who they identified as the shooter. I'll be reading the manifesto here in the show. I wish that I wouldn't have to, Crowder said in the video. And of course, on X, or aka Twitter, Crowder shared other images of the manifesto, including one part that said, I hope I have a high death count. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of those screenshots. So here's the, the tweet, breaking National School Covenant shooter, Audrey Hale's death day manifesto target, targeted crackers with white privilege. And I quote, wanna kill all you little crackers. Quote, I hope I have a high death count. Quote, I'm ready, I hope my victims aren't. And quote, ready to die. Hashtag National Manifesto. Uh, here's some of the the images, the screen. Oh man, this is this is dark. I can't kind of read the handwriting, but it's dated March 27th, 2023. Uh, to today is a day. The day has finally come. Exclamation point. I can't believe it's here. Don't know how I was able to get this far, but here I am. I'm a little nervous, but excited to been excited for the past two weeks. By the way, it's hard reading this handwriting, but there were several times I could have caught, especially, oh Lord, back in the summer of 2021. None of that matters now. I'm almost an hour and seven minutes, seven minutes away. 
Can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm ready. I hope my victims aren't. My only fear is if anything goes wrong, I'll do my best to prevent any of the story. This is ineligible. Can't really read it. Um, God let my wrath take over my anxiety. It might be 10 minutes tops. It might be three to seven. It's going to go quick. I hope I have a high death count ready to die. Oh my gosh. Uh, here we go again, uh, February 3rd, 2023. This is a month prior. Kill those kids, exclamation point. Those crackers going to private fancy schools with those fancy khakis and sports backpacks with their daddy's Mustangs and convertibles. F you little S, I wish to shoot. Your weak A private parts and mop yellow hair. I want to kill all you little crackers. Bunch of little F word. While your white privilege, with your white privilege, F U F word. And again, very hard to read her handwriting, but um, at the same time, trying to uh, censor some of those words for YouTube. Later schedule, death day. And guys, this is an entire itinerary for the day. She has this down starting from 6.30 a.m. 7 a.m. Get dressed. 7.05 to 8.55 is covered with stuffed animals and possessions. 9 a.m. Eat breakfast at home. 9.30 a.m. Pack up special belongings in backpacks. 9.50. Test knife. Car glass breaker. Oh, wow. 10 a.m. Leave for Royal Range. 19 to 20 minutes. 10.20 a.m. Gear up, set up, guns in trunk, assemble, get out, rest with mags inside. 11.20 a.m., final videotape. 11.30, 11.35 a.m., leave for Covenant School. Noon, arrive at Covenant, check parking for security. 12.05, arrive in designated parking space. 12.05 to 12.10, prepare for attack. Lock and load all weapons, ineligible, open fire towards, ineligible word. With that being said, why did the police um, keep this information from us? Why were we not allowed to uh, understand this? In order to best protect ourselves, we need to understand what type of tactics are being used, um, better enforce our communities and our schools to keep our children safe. But why would they keep this information from us? According to them, they think that it would lead to more uh, racial attacks, um, etc. I, I highly disagree. I think it would prevent um, these kind of attacks because at least we can prepare our security teams. Uh, we can prepare our law enforcement. We can uh, keep our parents up to date on how to communicate with these type of situations. This is an e as evil as you can get, uh, first of all, but she was consumed by these ideas that are usually perpetrated by those on the left. That those that are in privileged positions who have uh, parents who have more money, higher on the socioeconomic status ladder, um, that they're an enemy, that they're less, they're not worthy. Uh, these are all things that are perpetuated on the left. This is just the beginning. A lot more is going to be leaked. Um, if this is what I've seen so far, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep up to date with this story and see what else gets uh, posted. I'm going to try to pull that as well. Um, but you guys kind of let me know.